Welcome back to the Gfinity Arena in London. Final game of the day now uh, here at the first uh, first day of two of the Play Like a Legend uh, finals weekend presented by Xbox One. Spence, Dave, uh, Ty Walton's got to do it all over again with Dr. Ahano, yep. um, whose name I continue to get wrong. I do apologise. Um, they're practically ready to, to start. They're in the booth. So I think they're just waiting for the, for the get-go. I mean, Ty, I, I, he must be knackered. I mean, that's two silver goal games back to back. We hadn't seen a silver goal all tournament. And like yeah. I say, he's had two in a row. So that's going to take it out of you. I know it's not physically strenuous in terms of running around like real football, but mentally, the yeah. concentration levels you have to you know, maintain, it is hard. And he's done almost three games worth instead yeah. of two. So yeah, it's going to affect him. But he, he, he has to put what to one side now. He has to win this game or else he's out. Absolutely. It is of pivotal importance that he uh, you know, brings uh, brings everything now to this one. I'm going to hand over to these two absolute experts to talk you through the final game of the day. Go for it, lads. Thank you, Martin. So, Dave, I'm going to ask you for a prediction here because Group D maybe has not gone the way that some people would have thought. It, it was probably the tightest group, to be fair, on uh, on paper. It was the hardest one to choose between. But this game is Ty Walton versus Dr. Yeah. Ohano. The winner goes through. The loser goes out. Who is going to be that winner, you think? Um, Dr. You think Dr. Ohana, yeah. the good doctor himself? Yeah. Got it. Uh, like, mm -hmm. the way Ty's played, he's been pretty... He's been solid, but he's not really been that convincing. He's uh, he's not been seeing the games out. And, you know, he's got he's coming off the back of a loss, whereas um, Dr. Ohana has just smashed him on 5 in the loop. Ty actually struggled against. So, I know he doesn't always work like that. You know, sort of MK Dons beat United 4-0. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Doesn't mean yeah, they're yeah. a top four team here. <laughs> No, but, yeah. I mean, I think the thing with Ty, though, is that the reason he's getting taken to silver goal so much is he doesn't, he doesn't go and dominate games in terms of goals. Yeah. He gets possession, but he gets the one and he doesn't make it two or three or four. But we'll see what happens here. We are under away. Uh, it's Ty Walton versus Dr. Ohano. Dr. Ohano in the pink kit. Ty Walton in the blue kit. Ty Walton rocking that five at the back defence. Dr. Ohano coming at him with a traditional four, I believe. OK, we're underway. 
Here we go. This is the final game of uh, day one of the uh, grand final, the Play Like a Legend Championships. We will be back tomorrow for the knockout stages. That's where it really gets interesting. If you thought today was action-packed, wait till tomorrow, guys. There's going to be goals. There's going to be prizes. There might be some tears. Oh, it's a good ball. There's definitely going to be some drama. There'll probably be Not some offsides so as well. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Two legs, Ty Walton versus Dr. Ahano. Both big name players, really, in the scene, and one of them is going out. Both quite seasoned pros as well. Ty is still a young guy, but he's been around for a long time. So, and Dr. Ahano, obviously, he's got a PhD, and he's um, he's been here for a while as well. So yeah, he's been. Uh, the thing is, it's his first year on FIFA as well. Like he's been playing uh, other games professionally previously. Right. This is his first uh, year on FIFA, and he's. As far as like you know, debut years goes, he's had a really, really strong one. Let us know in the Twitch chat who you think is going to take this one. Is it a good doctor, Ty, uh, uh, Dr. Hano, or is it Ty Walton? Dr. Hano have a chance there getting into the box. Yeah, so leave us a comment there and let us know. This is the first leg of a two-legged game, of course. Now, so the winner of this game will be second place in Group D. That means they'll be playing the winner of Group C, which was Epsilon Rocket. Okay. And then in the other game will, of course, be Emmy Boost versus Graham. That's, a, that's actually quite a big game. We've got yeah. a former winner, but on form, we'd probably say Graham is the favourite for that one. Yeah, I mean, as I said, the way that Emmy's been defending today, if he does that tomorrow, especially against someone like Graham, he'll get absolutely battered. I mean, Rocky completely destroyed him, and Rocky doesn't even attack with, you know, that much for us. Oh, is it? So, yeah. uh, Surely we're not going to see a third silver goal here. I, hope not. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe that we will. That would just be shocking, and it'll be. I mean, that would. I don't think Ty would be in a great state of, of mind to take on day two if he goes through us with a silver goal. It'd be so tiring. It's like in tennis when you have a game that carries over two days, and you've got a tiny break before your next match. You know, it's going to be mentally draining for Ty. Yeah, definitely. He's going to be one. If he does go to a silver goal, there he's going to get straight to bed when he gets back. Look. And I think people underestimate the, the physical toll that it has on you playing FIFA for so long. I mean, people think, oh, it's just a game. And it is, but when you're playing at this sort of level and you have to concentrate 100% of the time, it really does take it out of you. Definitely. Definitely. We're seeing a little bit of a change around from Ty here. He wants to go with the... Uh, this, I don't think this is Ty. I think this is... Is it Ty? Yeah, this is Ty. So Dr. Rohano's using the... Oh, no, he's not using the... This is Ty. Ty's got Ronaldo yeah, yeah. and Messi. The only person to have them both together. Diego Alves in goal, of course, for Ty. Goes short there. He does, he's, been uh, doing that, he's been doing that a lot, actually. He did it every time against Graham. So. People might start to predict it if he does yeah. it too much. The thing is, though, Ramos won't lose too many headers. I mean, if yeah. you've got uh, Ronaldo challenging him, maybe. But a lot of the time when you do that, the be best case scenario, if you're the attacker, you can just take it back to someone. And even then, like, yeah. you know, he's got people back in place. Fair play. Dr. Ohano on the ball. Lovely little pass there, actually, over to uh, Rooney. Rooney goes to Di Maria. It's it. Di Maria. No. Oh, no. Maybe not. Here's Ty. Can he get a break? Ronaldo. Oh, he, he makes light work of that, but he gets uh, pushed off the ball in the end, I think, by Wayne Rooney, and it's going to be a throw for Ty with uh, Alba. Throws it to Ramos. Ramos switches it over to his right wing back, De Marcos, who's been a really uh, quite effective player for Ty down that right-hand side. He's got a throw in here. Into Messi. Messi not really come forward. We've seen a few long shots, a little bit from Ty with Messi, but not nothing like what we're seeing with Ronaldo. No, as was like say with Chris, uh, the usually there's, there's better players, uh, better players you can have uh, than Messi, as in like they'll give offer you a lot more options. But to be fair, the fact that he's playing him in centre um, centre attacking mid. Um, he does kind of change what I say a little because I was um, expecting him to be on the wing or something. And if he is on the wing, then you know, obviously you can have people like Gareth Bale, even Neymar, because he's five star skill moves, Balassi, who um, they offer you a little bit more. But in central attacking mid, I can't think of too many too many other players who you'd pick there. I mean, maybe someone a little bit taller, like Ibrahimovic, we've seen. He's a very good central attacking mid. He um, hasn't really got the pace, but he's got the finishing, and uh, mm. he always makes those late runs into the box. Which can be, uh, can be useful if you just like, whip in a hole for cross. Yeah, of course. Rooney on the ball for Dr. Ohano to Carl Walker. 
to Balassi. Balassi does the turn to Rooney. Oh, he's oh. there, right. That was nicely done, but can he get shot away? It's a good tackle in the end from Ty. It's going to be a corner. I think that was pretty unintentional, to be honest. Would have been nice if it worked, though, and he, yeah. he didn't mean it. Taking his time on this one. He's going to go short straight away with the early cross. Oh, Diego Alves was equal to it and managed to catch it. Still got it, though, Dr. Ohano. Oh, it's been intercepted from Ty. Chance to break if he can get that ball. That's a good block tackle, but uh, Dr. Ohano's guys come away with it. It's a newer over to Carl Walker. Even though he's only got the four defenders, he's also using Walker as quite an advanced fullback, which makes sense with the pace that he has. No free kick there. And it's going to be a throw in for Dr. Rahana. It's been a complete style, mate, so far. I mean, if you're stuck in bets on silver goal, I reckon the odds would be about 2 to 1. Um, I mean, if we have another silver goal, that's got to be some kind of record, I think. It's yeah. like a legend record, at least. Three games, three silver goals. Van Arnholt on the ball. Is he going to whip it in? Going to go to Cadrado. Cadrado straight into oh, Sturridge. Nice. Fast passing, oh, lovely nice. passing. Oh, oh that wow. is tidy. Through the keeper's legs, though. Shelney with the, the goal. Man. Wow, the doctor is in Rooney the was building it there as well. Like this passing was beautiful, it has yeah. to be said. No, it, it, it was put on a plate for Kashelny, really. You couldn't really miss it. Arsenal fans are going to be loving that. What was he doing up there? Is it from a corner? It wasn't even from a corner. No, actually. No. It's open play. That is, he's, he's man forward, centre back, making some advanced runs there, Lauren Kashelny. So Ty is down to the good doctor. Uh, will Ty come back in this. He prefers to take the lead in games. He keeps trying this finesse with Messi. One's going to come off. Eventually he will, but he's losing a lot of the ball from it. He's had a lot of them being ca uh, caught by the keeper. Some of them going want to hit the post, of course. That one going quite far wide. Almost half time in this first leg. Right now, uh, Dr. Ohano has the advantage. The German uh, fans on Twitch will be happy with that one. Let us know in the chat if you are in uh, Dr. Ohano's camp or if you're in uh, Ty's team. He's completely controlled this, to be fair. It's not an um, uncharacteristic game by Ty. Usually he's the one who he controls the possession. He likes to have the game in his own hands. But Dr. Ohano, he's, uh, he's done well stopping Ty do that. I mean, I think the, the possession's got to be at least 55 in um, his favour. Taz Ty DK is asking, how did Aggie do? Um, do you want to tell him how your tip for the tournament did, Dave? Um, well, I think someone might drop out tomorrow and he'll get put in in the quarterfinals. But if, mm. if not, then he did go out to the group stages. He went out in the group stages, yep, that's right. Rosemeyer is out, unfortunately. Uh, his debut tournament, to be fair to him, though, a lot of these guys have played in earlier Pellock Legend Championships. They've got a little bit of a feel yeah. for the Ultimate Team competitive scene. This was his first try. So I'm sure yeah. we'll see him again in the future. That's, that's a better hat by Erhana. I'm not sure about that one that was in the, um, that little feature of him. But yeah, that was yeah. quite a controversial yeah, fashion choice. Yeah. In fact, the whole kind of ensemble yeah. was quite controversial. I think he looks a lot, lot more mainstream now. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering whether this is his, whether that video was his, what he really looks like in, in his day-to-day -day life. <laughs> and this is kind of something he's been put in by his team yeah. or vice versa. Maybe this is just a persona. I mean, let's, uh, let, let's not make no mistake about it. That hat wasn't quite as bad as the shirt that you was wearing um, at the, I don't at the last event. I think that... Dr. Ohano must have lost some kind of bet for that last video. <laughs> yeah. that, that VT we saw of him, he was dressed like a Victorian, I don't know, just as like someone from the Victorian ages, basically. Yeah. Little far, who, who, farmer's cap on. But it was also, you know, had a bad fashion sense back then. It was an out of date <laughs> fashion sense even for the Victorian ages. So, um, but he's, 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 got, he's got a nice little hat on there and he's, uh, he's feeling good about things right now. At the end of the day, who cares what he's wearing? He's 1 0 up against Ty Walton. He just nutmegs someone here. Oh! oh. Shaking his head like, I, I, even I thought that one was going to go in. Sometimes on, on the crosses, you just you just know when they're going to lose the headers. and A lot of the time, it's like 50-15, you just start shaking your head thinking, no, please don't, and <laughs> exactly what he was doing there. Yeah. Come on, guys, Cobb Walker looks proper fat. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? It's the camera, mate. <laughs> the camera adds 10 pounds. Cobb Walker on the ball. Looks like he's been on a bodybuilding body course. Anua to Walker. Walker into Rooney, Rooney. Robin. Back to Walker, Waste. he's not going to make that. He's not going to make that. Oh. Hit the corner flag. We've oh. got TR Gamers 20 is on hashtag Team Doctor. We've got Ger Kampsval is also on Team Doctor. We've got uh, Harty Five is Dr. Ohano Army. 
uh, as is Nasty Naz and Y, as is Pure Skill, and yeah, there's a lot of support there for the Doctor. Interesting, they spell Doctor with a K, not a C. How do you feel about that? That's um, controversial. Yeah. Now, please put a C in there instead. Or it doesn't it might, count. Might be the German thing, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it doesn't count. Carl Walker on the ball here for Dr. Ahano. Rooney. Into Ronaldo. Nice play. Oh, lovely play. Ramirez. Oh, it deserved a goal, you know. Yeah. Uh, Ty is on the ropes. So I don't think Ty is this, uh, this used to having so, like so little of the ball. Doesn't really know what to do about it. Um, some people have taken your comment about Aggie taking someone's place in the tournament too seriously. No. Can you just confirm <laughs> that it was a joke? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely out of the group stages. He's, if he someone does back. take a like position in the quarterfinals, it will be me. <laughs> that's even more controversial. But yeah, but then again, it won't be fair on any of the players, really, because it's too easy. Too easy for them to beat no, you. For yeah. Me. yeah, I agree. I mean, that's the whole reason I'm commentating and not actually playing, because it gives everyone else a fair chance. Yeah, OK. <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that of a response, to be honest, Dave. I've heard you talk, you talk. I've never actually seen you play a game of FIFA, and I don't even know. I, I said it to Chris earlier. I don't think. Have you actually played FIFA before? Because I don't think anyone here has seen well, you it's play. It's actually one of my secrets, but I think you might have, you might have just stumbled on something <laughs> there that I was trying you, to hide. Oh, oh no! Off the bar! Dr. Ohana could have yes. him up. We could still get a goal. Bang! What a, that was an acrobatic save. That's yeah. what you kind of get with Diego Alves. He's, he's a bit of a TV keeper, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, that was a Casillas save. He likes to turn it on for the cameras. Yeah, making a save like a little bit harder than what it actually is. I think Casillas has been uh, doing that over the years as well. Yeah, yeah, true. He made a career off it. <laughs> yeah. OK, so corner here for Dr. Ahana. I think he's going to go short, perhaps, just drop it into Di Maria. He's taking his time on it, doing the old hand signals. They've obviously practiced something in training. He's going for a traditional corner. Not able to find anyone, but here's Van Arnho on the edge of the box. Spreads it to Di Maria. It's a lovely little touch there from Angel Di Maria. He's, that's a poor pass, though. And can Ty counter and get himself a goal? That pass has made it to Messi. Now it's Messi and Ronaldo, two people you do not want running at you. Rooney as well on the ball. How Rooney would ever play in a team with Messi and Ronaldo, I don't. I don't think we're ever going to see the day that, that mean, happens. Uh, was he not planned in a charity match? Oh, yeah, maybe in a charity yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. We saw Rooney play an Everton kit recently in a charity match, you know. So yeah. he probably played his best game of the season. Yeah, scored a goal, didn't he? No, he didn't <laughs> score in this. He didn't score in that, to be fair. <laughs> He's lost it. He's lost it. Well, that's going to be up for debate. I'm sure there's going to be a few Man United fans in there. There always is. Where do you think the German FIFA community ranks in relation to the English and French? We've talked about the English and French before. Obviously, French being really dominant of late, but, but huge gorilla, particularly leading the kind of British scene, at least. Yeah. Um, we've seen a few Germans come through. Marlott's already made it out of the group. Dr. Ohano is currently going to make it out of the group as well. So, is the, is the German, would you say it's the third best nation at FIFA right now? I think them, the, them definitely up there with the English and French. It's just that they're, uh, they're, they don't have a big Xbox community. They're more uh, right. on, on the side of the, the PlayStation. But, I mean, Dr. Ohano and Marlo, I'm not sure about Marlo actually, but now Dr. Ohano, he was a, heavy, um, a PlayStation player who made the trans transition over purely for this tournament. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if, if one of them do do well in this tournament, maybe others will start following suit. But, yeah, they definitely are um, really good players, the Germans. But, as I said, we just haven't, they haven't got a real a big Xbox community. But it's, a, it's a transition that we're seeing a lot of people make now, with not only with the, uh, the next-gen console, but also with the addition of Legends. Yeah. Know, that's a great coup. And that's why a lot of people are coming over. And, uh, and then we've seen tournaments like this played on Xbox for good reason. It's a shot here, he's trying it again. Now that's at least the fifth time I've seen Ty try that. Little drop of the shoulder, come inside, try the left foot finesse for Bessie, and he's yet to get a goal from it. He's losing a lot of the ball from it now, Dave. He is, but he's not really working any chances either, so I suppose it's just him clutching at straws, to be honest. Dr. Ohano really happy with how this first leg's panned out for him. Got the 1-0 lead, a narrow victory, but an important one nonetheless to take into the second leg. He's got the ball here as well with Carl Walker, Robin, and Nua. Looking for Di Maria. Lovely little pass that. What's the second pass going to be like? It's a ball over the top. Could be a goal. Ooh. Should have been, really. I thought Ronaldo would have just put that. Oh, he's bow, actually. Yeah. That being Ronaldo, I reckon it would have gone in. Depends, to be fair. The keeper was in a good position. We've got uh, Iman and 24 saying, come on, Ty. Trying to cheer on the, uh, 
well-known British competitor who's having a little bit of a hard time of it so far. He's had those two silver goals, one of which he won, one of which he lost. He's, he's playing for a place in the knockout rounds now, and right now he's not going to be getting it. And that would be another upset. You know, Group A and B kind of went how we expected them to. We had an upset in C when we lost uh, Aggie Rosenmeyer. And you oh. have to say, if Ty goes out of this, our seeded player from the group, yeah. that would be another upset. Yeah, well, it just... Um it will be an upset, but as I was about to say, it just goes to show the level of competition that we've got here. Yeah, for sure. For sure. A lot of Team Doctor hashtags coming in in the chat. Really a popular player here. Yeah, but if the with a K, it doesn't count, so... I think that's how they're spelling it, though. I think it's the no, official... No, it's not, like, it doesn't base. count. I'm not having it. Okay. You make the rules, to be fair. <laughs> you make the rules. So, it's, uh, that was one leg over. One more leg to go. Currently 1-0 to Dr. Ihano. He's got Marla in there with him. He's his German compatriot, who's already secured a place. And I guess he'll be quite happy that, that the only way he could play Marlott in this competition would be at the final. Yeah, Marlott's actually had a change of shirt. He had a Boca Juniors t sh uh, shirt yeah. on there. Uh, now he's gone for the German national yeah, the team. more patriotic mm. German. How do you so feel about someone switching shirts in one day like that? Like, I know they're a club and a nation, yeah. so it's not necessarily competing, but... I'm just wondering if he's a bit of a wishy-washy kind of guy now. He can't yeah. really commit to one thing or the other. Yeah, maybe Bocca just like lost earlier. And he's like, no, no, no. like, just like your average Man United fan. Like, no, I don't support them anymore. Or it could oh, be. I'm never a Man City fan. <laughs> it could be that he uh, just got a bit sweaty in that other kit and just wanted to change it around. And yeah. in which case, if it does anything, happen. If anything, you've got to applaud his kind of practical nature to have brought two shirts with him. <laughs> yeah. So in some ways, he's, he's quite. You know, I like that about him actually. We we saw this with Marla in the last tournament. We actually compared him to like a Bond villain in, the, in his, <laughs> clini his clinical nature. Yeah. Do you remember in the, in the interviews, <laughs> he was like, you know, if I, if I had to beat him, I would beat him. You know? <laughs> and he beat him most of the time. He got to yeah. the semi-final. So he'll be hoping to go at least semi-final stages again. Remember, semi-final stage is the uh, first stage where you get some guaranteed take-home hard cash. Yeah. If you get to the quarterfinals and get knocked out, you don't necessarily take anything home with you unless you get yourself the uh, goal of the season. Uh, prize, which is uh, $500, I believe. Um, obviously, a lot more money up for grabs if you get to the later stages and win games. Uh, so, yeah, going knocking, getting knocked out in the quarterfinals is kind of... It's not worse than getting knocked out in the groups, obviously, but it's so yeah. frustrating because yeah, you're so is. close to, the, you know, the, the money bags. Yeah, it's like losing in the final. Like, it's got, it's definitely so bittersweet. So all you can think is, oh, yeah, I've, I've won that money. But then all of a sudden, it like, hits arm. Oh, God, I was so close. So like, close. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, definitely what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, so we're just getting this second leg lined up. This is the final game of today. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, though, where we have uh, much more action. We've got the knockout stages. It's the real action-packed side of the tournament. We're going to find our winner in less than 24 hours from now. We'll know yeah. the winner of the grand final of the Play Like a Legend Championships. They're getting some serious prizes. We've got a lot of money. We've got EA Access. We've got Legends. We've got every Legend in FIFA 15 as well as FIFA 16 Legends as well. We've got FIFA points. You know, it's a big prize. We've got prizes for the runner-up as well as the semi-finalists as well. So um, lots to play for tomorrow, that's for sure. But we've still got one more leg to go today. We go to, we can quickly see uh, Dr. Ohano's team, which is a four at the back. Um, I think we've just missed it there, actually. But it's a four at the back. Sturridge up top. Van Arnholt at left back. Kind of traditional 4-2-3-1 formation that we've seen used a lot. Obviously, Ty is uh, going with that five at the back that he's used in every single game he's played in uh, the Play Like a Legend tournaments to date, I believe. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm surprised he's, still, he's sticking with that five at the back, to be honest, because he didn't get a lot of the ball whatsoever. And um, if, you're, if you're not getting the ball, that means you need to flood the midfield, and he's... Only got two centre midfielders at the minute, so Dr. Arno is just going to control this game exactly how he did in the, uh, the first game. So he's going to be really up against. So I'm not. If I was him, I definitely would have gone for a 4-2-3-1 or just something to kind of flood the midfield a little bit. We are underway now. The second leg of what is basically a knockout game. Whoever loses this game is out of the tournament, and whoever wins it is through. Basically, it's as simple as that. Currently 1-0 to uh, to Dr. Ohano. Ty needs a goal. If he doesn't score a goal, he's out. And it will oh. be a shame. That's a good, good defending there. Yeah. It will be a shame to lose Ty. Yeah. Because he's a good player and he's a consistent player. Um, and I know Tass, who's his sort of teammate who's gone through, will be disappointed to see him go out. But, you know, you get what you deserve in these tournaments. And I think 
Ty was, you know, had those two silver goal games. He showed promise, but he didn't shut the games out. He yeah. had the oh, lead constantly and kept losing it. He's a defender, just made up like a ground. But yeah, um, I definitely agree. FIFA 15 is not one of the games that you can just keep the ball and um, just hold it and you know work your way down to the wings and just put in some helpful crosses like you could on FIFA 14. You really need to attack with purpose, and that's what separates like Brian from Tass, for example. They both play possession play, whereas Brian attacks with a lot more purpose, whereas Tass, he kind of waits and he's, he's a lot more patient, and a lot of the times he, the opportunities just don't don't pop up as much as what they would have on FIFA 14, for example, yeah. which is why I think he's struggled quite a lot on this. And it's the same goes to Ty, like he's, um, he keeps a lot of the ball, but he's not really creating many chances. I hear you, I hear you loud and clear. 13 minutes into this second leg, Ty is playing in the yellow Brazil kit, uh, Dr. Ohano's in the pink kit, and just to remind you, as things stand, Dr. Ohano will be going through to take on It'll actually be taking on uh, Epsilon Rocky. It should be an Astro. That'll actually be a really good match. Yeah, it will. Both play the same sort of style. Be interesting to see who, who, which one can like kind of force their style upon the other one and make them have to, have to change the way that they play. Dr. Hano's boss in possession here. He's, he's absolutely pinging passes back and forth. Well, it's like a pinball. Well, it, when he was playing. Uh, Sorry, he was a fourth member of this group. Um, Graham and, of course, K Vega. K Vega, sorry. When he was playing K Vega, um, he, he wasn't on stream, but um, we had it on one of our monitors up here, and I l just looked at the um, stats at half time, and Dr. Ohana had 70% possession. I've never seen anyone yeah. have that high as late on in the game as at like, half time. Yeah. Usually, if someone has that much, like, their time might be But I was watching the game, and to be fair, he was keeping the possession all in his opponent's half, so. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely good at that. It's just the final pass that he's struggling with, and I think that's partly due to Ty's five at the back. And it's kind of, it all relates, you know. He's getting a little bit more possession in the middle of the park because Ty's got that extra man at the back. But then when he tries to make the final breakthrough, that's when that five comes through and kind of yeah. says no entry, you know. Yeah. When you do use five at the back, the first goal is so important. You need to get it if you're using it. If, you, if you're using it and it goes against you, pretty much straight away you need to change. Yeah. And, of course, that is what's happened in these... In this two-legged game, he did concede a goal in the first leg. And as a result, Ty has to score. And he's still playing that five at the back. At what point now, you know, almost getting closer to half-time in the second leg, at what point does, does Ty abandon the five at the back and say, look, I need a goal, I've got to go a little bit more aggressive? I think he'll, uh, he'll wait till half-time, although if it was me, I would have changed straight away at the start of this game. He didn't really, he didn't create anything whatsoever in that, second, uh, in that first game. So it's obvious something needs to change. And oh, he, mistake. Can he pounce on it? He's just got to find a man! Bang, goal, got to beat. Yeah, yes. really good play. Wow, Dr. Ohano has yeah. just prescribed a goal. Little fist bump there. And it's 2-0. Ty's in real trouble now. Yeah. Surely we're going to see a pause and we're going to see a formation change. You cannot carry on now. 2-0 down with just over half a game with five at the back. But Ty is doing it. Yeah. Has oh. he only got one way to play? Because I think we saw him do this before in tournaments when he yeah. went behind. Yeah. Is he a one-trick pony? It's a great pony, don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. It's one of the best ponies I've ever seen. But it is a one-trick pony. Yeah. It's got a good trick, but when that trick is not something that the judges want to see in the pony show, <laughs> then it's, uh, it, the fans aren't happy. <laughs> I, think, I think you might be right. Um, not so much with the analogies, but... Mm. Yeah, um, so are you saying yay or nay? Yeah, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, do try. But yeah... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think Ty, you might be right. Ty's only got that one style Chance. that he can play. Ooh. and um, Yeah. Oh! It's really not going for him. You need, when it, if you play in a tournament like this, you need a plan B, sometimes even a plan C. And if you don't, you know, it, you're just making it harder for yourself. And obviously, Ty here, he's either. Um, maybe he just needs a coach in there. I've now just tasses in there with him this time, yeah. whereas yeah. in the past he has been. Uh, maybe he could help just having someone in there saying, like, you know, you need, you need to change. This obviously isn't working because sometimes when you're playing, you're so focused on the game, you don't realise until it's too late. The thing is, though, Dave, we, we've seen this before. Uh, in the last tournament when Ty started to struggle, he didn't change from that five at the back and he just doesn't seem to learn from it. And it is frustrating to watch. I feel like he genuinely believes he's better like this. Yeah. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, you're not going to create as many chances. It's fine to say I'll be efficient with my chances when I do create them. That's fine when it's an even slate. But you're 2-0 down. You need as many chances as you can get. And you've got to just... I don't see what the, what the problem is. 
Like, if you stay at five at the back because you think that you're going to be defending tighter, it doesn't matter because you're currently going out. You doesn't even matter if he concedes another seven goals, it doesn't make a difference. He's still out. Yeah. You've got to throw caution to the wind, and it doesn't seem like he has that in his locker, and it does frustrate me. I've got to be honest with you, man. Yeah, but I agree. I mean, um, at the start of the day when Stokes was playing a huge gorilla, I was saying um, Stokes is using five at the back, but he doesn't always necessarily make you defending any better. In my opinion, if you're bad at defending, use a three, using a three at the back could be more beneficial because you pack out the midfield yeah. and it stops your opponent being able to create anything. And look at the huge gorilla way of life. You know, I don't care if I'm going to concede goals. I'll score more than you, pal. That's not something that, that I don't I really feel like Ty has that in his locker. Yeah, no, definitely not. I mean, Ty, whenever he seems to go behind, he just struggle. I mean, I can, obviously there's one notable instance where he did go behind and come back, and that was against a huge gorilla in one yeah. of the semi-finals. Yeah. Um, but other than that, whenever Ty goes behind, he, he seems to always lose because, he, as, as we've said, he doesn't really have a plan B, and he always sticks with that fight at the back, although I'm pretty sure he's going to be changing that up now, but you know, he's got nothing to lose anyway, so... Some of the Germans are really happy with Team Doctor. Uh, Hearty Five says, "Yeah, Team Doctor. Um, Lex Ernie says, Ty can't attack. Um, and RKRN8AN81 wants to know more about the Pony Show. Um, I'll have to tweet me later about that. I'll tell you all the info you need. But there's one coming up soon. I'll be there. I'll be taking my pony there. <laughs> it's called Beatrice. Well, she's called Beatrice. <laughs> Uh, she's actually a three-trick pony. Oh. So, yeah, I've been teaching her a couple of ones. She knows how to sit, stay, and um, moonwalk. Oh, wow. Yeah. That moonwalk's one there. I think that would impress the judges. That's usually the winner. Yeah. I do the sit, <laughs> and they're like, I've seen that before. Dogs do that, mate. Yeah. I do the stay. They say, it's just a pony not moving. What's, what's special about that? And I say, watch this. And I say, moonwalk. And it just blows <laughs> their mind, mate. It blows their mind. I get a ribbon every time. All right, Toy's now gone to the three at the back. He must be able to hear me. Three at the back. That's a big switch up from five to three. Now, am I right in thinking, Dave, he is not legally allowed to change from this three to a four now? Do is no, that a rule? I'm, I'm not. No, I think it's whatever formation you start with. Okay, so he yeah. can go from a three to yeah. a four. Okay, so by starting with a five, you, you, you can do anything you want then. Sure, so I think if you, I think you're just not allowed to change from four to five. But if you, for example, if you start with three, I think then you're allowed to go to four. But right, okay. that, I think that, that I'm, I'm not sure. I might have to get that confirmed. Okay. But okay. yeah, um, Doctor Ohana is going to have a lot less possession in this half. There, he's um, gone three at the back. He's going to have flooded the midfield out, and uh, this is what he needed to do to start the game, in my opinion. Ramirez is on for Enzo Perez. One of the substitutions that Ty has made. He needs two goals. It's 1 0 in the second leg, but it's 2 0 in aggregate. And it's a corner for Ty. It's a good start. He needs to get an early goal, ideally. Okay, Ramirez. It's a good ball into Marco Royce. Can he deliver it? He's going the wrong way. That is not where the goal is, son. Ty just wants to get hold of this ball and hold on to it. But it is a Dr. Ohano on the ball. So calm. He's very calm, isn't he? And that's yeah. what you want from a doctor. You don't really want an erratic doctor yeah. who's just like throwing pills all over the place and, you know, like get telling you you've got something you haven't really got. You want a doctor who just looks at you and says, look, I think it's eczema. <laughs> <You know? laughs> get a bit of uh, pseudocreme on it. Jobs are good. One. Okay. 2 0. Kyle Walker on the ball. Plays it down the line to Ronaldo. Dr. Ohano is just happy in possession. He really is right now. He doesn't need to score again. He can even concede one. Um, obviously, won't be keeping a clean sheet against Ty would be a great, great little bit for his confidence going into the knockout round, which he will do if he wins this. And he'll be playing Epsilon Rocky, who we all know he's a good player, but I think it's fair to say surprise some people in that Group C. Yeah. Well, the nature I, of his wins. It's been a surprise in a way, but it's been a long time coming. Uh, yeah, As true. I said, yeah, in those previous tournaments, he's he's shown it. Oh. He's shown his potential, but he's not quite performed. Whereas this time, I think he's finally, you know, as uh, Chris said earlier, the planets have aligned for him, and he's, this could be his tournament. Yes, I mean, it, it's a good contrast, really, between Epson Rocky and, uh, and Aggie Rosenmeyer, who Rocky was seen in almost every tournament. Yeah. And he's, he's, t yeah, he's, he's, he's tailored his style of play, he's tried different teams out, and he's kind of finally cracked it, if you like, winning the yeah. Group C. Whereas Rosenmeyer still has all that to kind of do. This will be a big learning curve for him. I'd like to see him back again because he's got he's got great credentials as a competitive player. Free kick from Dr. Ohano here, hitting the wall. Yeah, he's going to be a corner. He's got great um, credentials, but it's just whether he, uh, whether he likes the ultimate team mode. I know a lot of people don't actually like it just because 
it's really fast paced and it's not necessarily that it's too fast for them but you know they have a lot of other tournaments as well which you now they have to have on their mind and yeah of course they, yeah they, they have to start prioritizing i mean obviously this is definitely one that a lot of players are going to put top of their priority list now it's a brilliant tournament it's yeah. straight the year and the prizes are amazing so and uh, also that is the thing it's a good point though you know you need to it's all about practicing it's all about practicing the one you want oh, oh. that would have been game over that is huge for ty ty needs to look at what happened there use it as motivation get himself a goal, get himself a foothold back in this game, because right now he's going out and it will be another shock in this uh, epic play like a legend grand final that is unfolding before our very eyes. He needs a goal, he's got 20 minutes, Dave. Is he going to get one? I think he might get one, but I don't think he's going to like, come back and win the game. Five at the back is a counter-attacking side, but he has no penetration attacking, is what uh, Ronaldo Seven says. Um, I mean, he switched to that three at the back now, of course. Yeah. But, uh, but you're right. No, he did. He, he did lack something. If you go behind, as soon as he goes behind in the five at the back for me, he should change. Yeah. I mean, and he doesn't do it. He, he, he loses maybe 80, 90 minutes of a two-legged game before he changes it. You, you need to be able to adapt your style of play. Uh, well, your defending style of play. Sorry. You need to be able to uh, defend here and comfortable. That's an obvious one. But then you have to. Learn how to press extremely high without leaving too many gaps at the back, and that's what Ty needs to do now. Um, uh, Dr. Ohana is just keeping the ball too well, and Ty's not pressing well enough because whenever Dr. Ohana seems to get the ball, he just keeps it comfortably every time. Messi on the ball. I thought we were going to see one of his long shots. He hesitated, and I think as a result, he's lost possession, but it's cut out again. Like, Ty has less, l just around 15 minutes now. He really needs a goal. It is goal time, Ty. Give the people what they want. I'm going to be honest with you, Ty. Y your, your gameplay is frustrating people. You need to step up. You've, mixed, you've, you've made step one, which is going from the five to the three. So I congratulate you for that. It may be a little bit late, but you need to get a goal now. I think he can do it. He needs two, but he needs to get one to start him off. As long as Dr. Arno has the ball, though, he's just going to keep it safe and keep it comfortable. For Shelney, scored a goal for Dr. Arno, of course. A good awesome. goal as well. <laughs> it was a decent little finish for a centre-back. Koscielny's got that in his locker, though, I feel. I think that was pretty true to life. Ramirez. It's a good ball. He's onside. Ronaldo. Is he going to go for goal? Or is he just going to keep the ball? He's oh, trying shit, to dig. Shit. Oh, my word. That would have been one way to seal a path through to the knockout round, wouldn't it, Dave? Yeah, that was slightly ambitious. But that, those sort of troops, they work quite, like, a lot on this game. That would have been a... Yeah, just, that would have been a really, really good way to seal your... They can go in. Yeah, just, definitely just seal them. your victory. I think we, I can't remember if we've seen one going in one of these tournaments, but I've definitely seen a few attempted. Ronaldo. Messi. Oh, he's not going to make it. I think we're going to be saying goodbye to yeah. Ty. I mean, there's a famous ex FIFA pro, Robert Brewster. Not many people know him, maybe like two or three in the stream, but he used to say if he got to the eighth, fifth minute and he, was, uh, he had a two goal lead, which. You know, he's only got one goal lead oh, in the game, but it's two in a low overall. Yeah. If he, he said if he got to the 85th minute, he had a two goal lead, he knew he'd won. Yeah. But you'd like to think that's the case now, approaching the 89th minute, uh, or in the 90th minute, in fact, really. And, uh, I mean, that's not a great pass. It's not what you want to be doing at this point in the game, but I still think he's got time to, to do this because I don't think Ty's going to get two goals now. If he gets one now, it'll be an interesting finish, though. Surely not. Oh, he's panicked there. Yeah. That's not the normal Ty we're used to seeing. This is probably... A, you know, a side effect of leaving it too late to make that switch up. He did leave it too late, in my opinion. He waited till he was 2-0 down, and then he allowed you know, a few more minutes to pass before he switched to three. I think that was a mistake. It's a shame to lose Ty, because he's a popular player, and I enjoy watching him, but um, he is going to be getting knocked out. It's going to be a shock. Dr. Ohana is going to be going through, representing Germany. We've got a nice balance, you have to say, of English, French, and Germans in the uh, knockout stages. It could be any one of those three nations that takes home the trophy and the yeah. prize money, of course. Both Germans have made it through, but interestingly enough, this time they can't meet until the final. Exactly. The last time they met in the quarterfinal, so it's a bit of a shame for them. In fact, the last time, yeah, the English players played each other, the French players all played each other, and the Germans played each other. Oh, it's going to be another up. one. That was lovely. Wow, Dr. Ohano sealed it in style. Fair play to him. 3-0 now against the player of Thai standard. That's a decent scoreline, and he sent out a message, you know. After losing that first game to Graham, it was close. It almost went to silver goal. Uh, after losing that game, 
You know, some people probably weren't considering him as a contender, but what he's done since then has been very, very good. So we have to say uh, well done, but goodbye to Ty, who's a former finalist. He was a seeded player, second, uh, well, the first seeded player as, uh, that we've seen go out in this yeah. tournament so far. I'm not sure he shook Ty's hand. Yeah, I mean, uh, apparently when Marlow finished against the huge gorilla, he didn't shake his hand. Uh, apparently, Dr. Ohana didn't shake Graham's hand. So is there a little bit of German? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, like. I wasn't too sure at the time, uh, but looking at his body language now and he hasn't shaken Ty's hand, I don't think he might have done it off the camera, but uh, yeah. it doesn't look like there's any hatred there. Maybe it's just, uh, you know, I want to just keep myself to myself whilst we're in the tournament. What happens at the side of the tournament, you know? Interesting, yeah. very interesting. I, I personally, I think you leave it on the pitch. You know, once the yeah. game's finished, do what you want in the 90 minutes. You know, use your mind games, have fun with them. Yeah. But as soon as the final whistle's gone, you know, put it to bed, shake hands and just, you know, move on in life. Yeah. But um, that is something that Ty is going to have to do, move on in life, because he's yeah. out of this tournament. He's gone. Former finalist, we've mentioned it before, one of the seeded players, knocked out. He won't be happy about that. He'll probably be thinking now what he could have done better. You know, sh should he have switched formations? Yeah, one, one of the things that really annoys me is it's, it's not... It's not uh, people having bad days, because people have bad days. Yeah. It's when people don't learn from past mistakes. And I feel yeah. like we've seen it happen quite a few times in, in these tournaments. People just be too late to adapt. And is that is it easy for us watching to see that and go, oh, come on, this is what you should do, and it's annoying when they don't do it? And, or, do, and do they or do they know more than us? Well, have they actually got it, got it right? It's just hard, because when you're in the game, um, sometimes, as I said earlier, you don't notice that something's not working enough until it's already too late. Mm. And I think that's what, what's happened in Ty's case, and I think maybe in um, August's case as well. And they just kept going with their place off, thinking it was enough. And, you know, obviously it wasn't. And that's where a, a coach can be used. So, I mean, in FIFA, yeah, they're, yeah. they're not... Um, you don't have them a lot. You really don't see them very often. I mean, uh, Dr. Hana, we had Marlott in there helping him. But he, like, he, if you're a player helping another player, it's always a little bit... Yeah, uh, you, you don't know. Yeah, because you don't want to be the one to say, right, change formation. Exactly. The change formation, and then it goes like all down nooks, and you, you'll feel responsible. So uh, for, for me, I think the perfect balance is to have a coach, yeah. but have all the talks be done pre-game. Have your discussions, talk about plan A, plan B, but then let the game, the actual player, make those decisions as to when yeah. to change and be responsible for them. Because like you say, if I'm playing, and you go, Spence, you should go to free at the back now, yeah. and I take that advice, you're, it's almost like you're playing as well. You yeah, know? Yeah. It's, it's me that's playing. I should make that responsible choice. So I think it's definitely benefiting having a coach, but have a time and a place for those sort of instructions. But yeah. congratulations to Dr. Ohano. He's through. Uh, he's going to be playing, uh, of course, Epsilon Rocky in a knockout game. That's our fourth quarter final. We've also got um, Emmy Boost. He's going to be taking on Graham. Another good game. Who do you think is going to win those two matches?